Hi, this is Charlie from Angelized by Charlie. Um, hopefully doing a video with a nice new camera. We'll see how things go. This one is for my friend Joe, who asked me to do a tutorial on some makeup that I did back in January. Um, which will of course be of use for everybody else who watches. Um, people who know me know that I'm not usually a huge fan of MAC products, but I seem to be using quite a lot of them today. Um, I'm currently got um, Select Tints which is like a silicon based foundation in shade N20 um, which will mix together with a little bit of um, select cover up which is that little one there which is also NW20 sorry NW20 for both of those and then a little bit of the Studio Fix powder which is my own which again is NW20 so Studio Fix powder so I will put a tiny bit of this onto my little palette because it's not my makeup, this one is work one. And I'll start with my base. Apologies for the time this will take. Um, using the new camera, I'm hoping it all goes well. I'm using the camera to actually see what I'm doing, so hopefully it'll work. I'm just using a foundation brush here. Again we have my son in the background, so apologies if you can hear kids in the background. The Selecting Foundation is um, quite a light coverage for those of you who don't like to feel like you're too caked up in makeup. Um, it's one of the liquid foundations from MAC that I do like. It's not brilliant for coverage, but it is good for light wear, um, providing a base for the rest of your foundation. If you want a thicker coverage or more concealment, you will need to pair it with a concealer. Doing my makeup with a brush makes my little spot of um, pale skin show up. Once you've put your foundation on, whether you choose to use liquid or powder, you still need to set it. Sorry, no, liquid or cream, you still need to set it. Especially when you're working on eye makeups and things, because it will come out. All creased afterwards if you don't. So all I'm doing is just dragging out the crease and powdering it off. If 
if you want to stay quite dewy looking, which some people do, some people don't, um, don't powder the rest of the face, just powder the areas that need it, like the bits of the face that go shiny. Because I'm only, whoa, <laughs> camera fall over, I'm only working on my eyes for this one for Joe. Um, I'm not going to powder all of my face, and my camera doesn't want to stay still. Sorry. I think I've got it. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> See if I can get a bit closer. Right. Next stages. I use a little artist palette that looks like this. It's got little things in it, but you can easily use just to like a little dish or something. You need a little bit of tap water and a black eyeshadow powder. It can be eyeliner, um, see, um, cake eyeliner or just normal matte black eyeshadow. In this case, again, like I said, it's a MAC heavy demonstration. I'm using Typographic, which I have in my little Z palette. For the stuff that I carry around on a regular basis. So, you dip your brush, nice thin eyeliner brush like that. If you can see that. You dip your brush into some water and then make sure that you work it quite well. See, I had an angle, you can see. Work it quite well into the actual powder so that your bristles change colour and go totally black. You need to add a touch more water than do. You don't want to have it all dry and powdery, you want to have it just sort of moist. It's almost like painting. I don't know, I'm holding that to, I don't know if you can see that, that clearly. There we go. Next, start by lining the top of your eye. At this stage, it doesn't need to be neat. Oh, the lads have got the computer out in the other room playing music. You will keep, need to keep going back into the water and topping up your brush. Unfortunately, this look does take a bit of time. It's not something that you can do on the fly. And you also need to line the underneath of your eye. Now when you're getting the shape for what you want afterwards, you come from the bottom line of your eye upwards. You're not going any further out than where your natural eye line is. So if you take your brush from the corner of your eye to the corner of your eyebrow, so corner of eye, eyebrow, corner of the nose, that's no further out than there do you want to take this shape. Now it will take on all sorts of forms by the time you're finished. And the next one is to bring it from there across where the crease of your eye is and down to the inner corner. The idea is, so as you close your eye, you can barely see the black. 
Now yeah, I've kept that quite low, so I'm gonna need to take that a bit higher. If you close your eye and you find that you get shadows, as I'm starting to do there, then you need to lift your line so that it comes a bit higher. So that as, an open, as you open and close your eye, the shadows that form will all be always on the blacks without it smudging. You can, depending on what shape you want it, you can shape it as you do it. And then you just start to fill it in. Now you can keep filling it in with a small brush or you can do as I'm going to do and use a slightly larger one. I don't know if you can see that. Still quite small. But it's a larger brush for filling in with, so you can fill it in a lot quicker. Each time you need to put more um, black on your brush, you need to make sure you wet the brush, otherwise it won't um, hold it hold it as the thickness you want it. It'll go quite patchy as you do it. Now, as you're probably noticing, those of you who aren't my friend Jo, this is developing to be quite a bold eye makeup look. It might not suit everybody. But if you want to play around with it, feel free. Ultimately, you can do this look in any colour combination you like. Just make sure you use the powder wet. If you want it to be bold. Now, the secret to what I was doing back in January, which is what makes it its final look, is going back to the thinner brush again. Is you've got the nice point going up on the top, you need to mimic that coming on the bottom.
Now with this look I am just lining under the waterline, not lining on it because I will use coal liner for that afterwards. Now you'll see I'm making a mess here, don't worry, we'll clean that up after. So that's one eye done. If you want to define eyebrows and things once you finish the look to make it look stronger you can. Um, I will do the other one and um, show you how to finish off. Hopefully I'll be able to edit this together. So there we go, that's both eyes done. Um, now it's important to make sure that you powder underneath so that you don't get any creases across your cheeks and things and better coverage and such like. Powder with a brush or you can powder with a sponge. I'm just using my brush, using my compact. Now I get shiny all across here. Now, when you're doing quite a bold look like this, you need to make sure to you keep your lips looking quite neutral and eyes and such like. Um, if they're well, eyes darker if your lips are more neutral. So. Filling in the eyes using the coal liner. This is um, Benefit's Bad Girl Lash. I have to use a mirror for this one. Hopefully, you'll see me doing at least one of them. Now I'm putting coal onto the waterline. And same on the other side. I can check that in the mirror. There you go, that gives you a completely black look. Then, oop, blinking. You want a mascara. Here's a different one to normal today. This one I used the other day, which is a L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion Mascara, which is that one there. This is the one that has the ball on it. When you, when you take it out. Secret to making sure this one works and you don't end up with all your lashes clumped together in totally spidery fashion is make sure that you take off as much excess as possible, even if it means wiping it in a tissue, otherwise you'll end up with it everywhere. So, this one's good because you've got more control over its size. Start going across the tops of your lashes. And then you're underneath. Because any powder that you've used to set your eyelashes and th set your foundation, sorry, will um, make your eyelashes look pale. Now you can use this one vertically on your bottom lashes. Same thing for the other side. Over the tops of your eyelashes first. And then underneath. I would say I have become a nice, I've become a fan of this one. We do have to be careful with how much you have on the brush, as I discovered the other weekend. When I completely over caked my eyelashes and they looked spidery. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the blush here because I'm not going out and I don't need to show it to anybody. Well, if I do put my makeup bag, there we go. Put my lipstick on. Sorry, 
all arms reach. <laughs> um, again, another MAC product, I'm afraid. This one is MAC um, Pro Longwear Pro Colour, or Pro Longwear Lip Colour, sorry, my mistake. And this particular one is Duracell, Duracell which is that one there. comes with your colour and your gloss at the other end. I don't want that to be too heavy. And there you have it. Quite a pale lip colour. Dark eyes. A final flourish. It makes my eyebrows match with the darkness of it. Using my little angle brush in a greyish coloured powder because I know that works best for me so there you go Let's put that in the powder and start from the middle of your eyebrows out and then come back into the middle instant difference same again Middle of your eyebrow out. Yep. Caught my hair in. And then back. There you go. Balances it all out. Actually, I think for the looks sake, I might just put blusher on, even though I am only going to go and cook tea for my family. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to keep switching around because everything's on opposite sides of my back on the couch behind me. And I had it all to go out to work earlier. And I um, can't remember quite where everything is. Again, I'm afraid it's another MAC product, which is the Buff Powder Blush. It's that one there. It's a pinkish brown sort of colour. Works with almost any style of makeup. I'm using an angled brush. There you go, finished look. Like I said, it is a bold one. Have fun. Hopefully that works for you, Joe. Let me know how you get on. Bye.